hymn number 2 page 1 mass for the intentions of Antonietta Ferrau she celebrating her birthday may god bless her with good health in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily the sacred mysteries you were sent to heal the contrite of heart lord have mercy lord have mercy you came to call sinners christ have mercy christ have mercy you are seated at the right hand of the father to intercede for us Lord have mercy Lord have mercy May almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen Let us pray Grant O merciful God that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the paschal observances Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Setting sail from Troas, we made a direct voyage to Samothrace, and the following day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city in the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in this city some days, and on the Sabbath day. we went outside the gate to the river side where we supposed there was a place of prayer and we sat down and spoke to the women who had come together one who heard us was a woman named lydia from the city of thyatira a seller of purple goods who was a worshipper of god the lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by paul and after she was baptized and her household as well she urged us saying if you have judged me to be faithful to the lord come to my house and stay and she prevailed upon us the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god. god our response to the son the lord takes delight in his people let's repeat the lord, the lord takes delight, delight in his, his people. people sing a new song to the lord his praise in the assembly of the faithful let israel rejoice in its maker let zion's children exult in their king response the, the lord, lord takes delight in his people 
Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Response. The Lord, the Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory and rejoice as they take their rest. Let the praise of God be in their mouths. This is an honor for all his faithful. Response. The Lord, the Lord takes delight in his people. Kindly rise. Alleluia. about me, says the Lord, you also will bear witness. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, When the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me. And you also will bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think is offering service to God. And they will do these things because they have not known the Father nor me. But I have said these things to you that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told them to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's first reading, we see Paul giving prominence and preference to women. His special address to women Unfortunately, only one name of the women is mentioned in that reading. That is Lydia and her household. That means so many of hers might have been the audience to whom Paul addressed. It gives us a very clear understanding that the women have a great role, responsibility. He attaches to them a great importance, along with men. Both uh, men and women are called by God to be his witnesses. The witnessing is coming forth from the gospel. Jesus tells us, I am the witness to my Father, and you are witness to me. 
he gave uh, this mission to his apostles and today people are attracted when you are really witnessing to justice to truth to everything that is good they don't believe in words that uh, i talk you talk everyone talks they want to see your actions they want to see your behavior they want to see how you speak what you do in this manner you become witnesses and that is why in the gospel jesus says i will give you the holy spirit he will come upon you he will uh, give you the strength to bear witness particularly when we have to go through difficult times through persecutions holy spirit will be your strength and your power as we go out from this place as soon as the mass is over your mass begins in the society in the community where you live in the offices that where you work or anywhere you in your neighborhood in your community do witnessing and you will see that you become thus agents of transformation and i also thank god that uh, so many women here and there are giving witnessing and are very much involved in the works of the church in the mission of christ even in the vatican we see so many women appointed by pope francis in various commissions in various committees they have even attended and participated in the synod last year and this year too in october some of them will be invited so a woman is god's gift to us a man is a god's gift to us both men and women need to work hand in hand for the spread of god's kingdom and let us begin that task in our own parish for fitri please take him number 123 on page 34 1 2 3 Let's start you Lord God of all creation Thanks to your goodness we spread we offer fruit of the earth work of our hands it will become the bread of life Bless us be God Bless us our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name 
for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear, with, may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have cre created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, 
for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with uh, Saint Joseph Vaz, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing health. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our bishop, and all the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the, to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are you who are called to His supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. Communion, please take hymn number 194 on page 60, hymn number 194. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries 
may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Sessional Hymn number 221, page 69. Jesus, Jesus is our joy.